Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Today is the first day that I'm actually feeling like normal again. I feel like I feel better than I sound. That's always what happens to me when I get sick though. Like I end up sounding pretty bad for a while afterwards, but I just got up and got ready and I'm like, you know, filming a ton of content today. Today is like my catch up content day. I have like some branded stuff. I want to vlog, I have main channel stuff, etc. But um, the second I was done getting ready, there was some construction happening outside and they're like, I don't know what they're, I, they're jackhammering or something like that. So um, fingers crossed that doesn't last very long. But yeah, today is just gonna be kind of a catch up day. I am actually <laughs> in the process of steaming a dress right now. So hold please. I don't know if I do this wrong, but I find that this like never works for me. Like I can never get the wrinkles out. And now I have to wait and it's overflowing. <laughs> Drew is the steamer in this relationship. And an ironer. And ironer. You need to like pull it like kind of tight. Sometimes I do it from the inside. Be careful, that thing is gonna fly right off. It's a man's job. You heard it here first. All right, the dress is like as good as it's gonna get for now. I have kind of like the rundown for today. I have two reels that I'm filming that are in process right now. I'm like done with one of them technically. Um, another one I'm in the process of working on. Um, I have at least one main channel video that I'm doing and then we have to film something after Drew gets off work. So it's gonna be kind of like sporadic and, and scattered but it feels good to like be back in the swing of things. Oh, Drew had a tattoo by the way that I haven't shown. Can I show it? It's really easy right now. You won't be able to tell. He's like embarrassed. He's like... So Drew got a, a cute tattoo for Moo last week and it's literally the cutest thing ever. Look at it. put a lotion on it and it's peeling so don't judge me. Oh, okay. But here it is. It's Moo! Isn't that so cute? Drew's calling it his slutty thigh tattoo. Mm. So there you go. That was really cute. Yeah, it's so cute and it's just like barely shows when he wears long shorts, but then when he wears short shorts, you can see it more and he's very excited about it. <laughs> Anywho, I need to get changed and film like a little outfit thing and then I don't know. I don't want to go too hard, obviously. I'm just excited to be feeling better, so it's like making me want to do more stuff, but I need to like, I don't know, I need to ease back into it. So anyway, we're gonna film some content and then we'll catch up later. It's a couple days later actually. I ended up getting super busy and distracted with work stuff and I was like, no, I need to take care of that and also just like still heal. I'm freaking testing negative though. I'm so excited. But Drew and I are just sitting here having coffee. We're getting a very late start to the day. I was up super early at like five in the morning and when I was awake, I saw Taylor Swift announce her concert tour movie that she's gonna have in the movie theaters, which is so cool. So I was literally awake like right as it announced and then I got tickets right away, so that's very exciting. But anyways, we were just having our coffee and Drew always goes out and checks on our plants in the morning. Cause if you saw like a couple vlogs ago, um, we got some like raised garden beds and stuff. So our I'm gonna show you, garden. it's our secret garden. So I thought we would show you a little update. So here is where we're at. There was some like bug or something. I think it was from the rain. Maybe it's getting pelted from the... Maybe. We had like a hurricane here in LA, so that was kind of weird. But here is our first going to be baby eggplant, which is so exciting. And then there's like going to be a couple other ones. These are our peppers. Yeah, there's like a couple little flowers and stuff, which is so exciting. We actually have like probably, I don't know, 15 or 20 tomatoes coming in. This is probably the biggest one. So we're very excited about that. Here's our herbs. We've already used the rosemary and then I think the basil. Yeah. No time yet, but I mean, soup season is coming. So that's kind of the progress. I guess I'll show you the rest of it because again, we did have a hurricane and it made kind of a mess. Most of these flowers died. The plumeria is still doing okay. It kind of like was bad for a second, but she's making a comeback. We had to trim all these flowers, but, but see, they're coming back. They're coming back, yeah. She's, yeah, I think it's she's rank, making a comeback. Yeah, they got really like soaked. Um, our succulents and our elephant foot, I think it's called, are doing fine. These are doing fine. There's a plane going overhead. Aloe is fine. The bougainvillea did die, <laughs> but um, we're, yeah, we think there might be something wrong with the roots. So we're gonna ask the next time we go back um, on any tips and just see what's going on with that. Palm is doing fine. It's maybe getting a little burnt in the sun, but it's like a palm tree. So I think it's supposed to be in full sun. So I don't know. 
If you have any um, advice, please send it our way. <laughs> and then our Birds of Paradise already has a new leaf coming. So that's the, that's the little garden update. I know I said that the other day, um, you know, whenever I was filming a few days ago, that that was gonna be like a major content day and that I had so much to film. I did, I did end up doing that, but now I have even more, so. I'm gonna like shower, I fake tanned, it needs to be rinsed off, and we'll continue on with our day. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, we're back in the office. I'm gonna grab my tripod real quick. We are all showered and ready to go. I'm wearing my favorite overalls that I thrifted like probably two years ago with Alexa. And they're so comfortable and I haven't worn them yet. They're like my little vintage play suit overall type of things. Um, oh, I need to find a battery, hold on. Battery secured. So now I am going to film, I think two main channel videos and then a Instagram reel, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just waiting to hear back on another Instagram reel. It's a sponsored one to see, it's actually one that I filmed the other day to see if I am like good to go and approved to go live for that or if I need to make any changes or whatever. I'm not very good at multitasking as you can see. I'm just formatting my card. And yeah, we're gonna do some filming today. I'm also wearing this like knockoff Tiffany's necklace. Do you remember these from back in the early 2000s? I don't know, I saw one. I think it was on Amazon. Why am I squatting like this? I'm like, hello. I think I saw one on Amazon recently and I just thought it was so funny and like nostalgic, but something I've learned and like, I don't know if this is just a thing that you learn as you get older, but like, you know, trends are always on a cycle and they're always going to come back around most of the time. Um, and this sort of like Y2K trend has become really popular in like early 2000s, whatever, aughts. And it's actually kind of lasted for like a couple of years. And there are certain things that like, I wish I had held on to that were genuinely a part of my wardrobe like 10 years ago or more that like would still fit would still be fine like shoes or accessories and things that I wish I had just held on to and I think sometimes we can probably all be guilty of this I'm like oh I don't wear that anymore so like I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it donate it resell it whatever and I feel like something I'm gonna really try to start doing and I was talking to Drew about this is like setting aside some sort of space in wherever I live for like storage like true storage like storing my clothes clothes that like I'm not gonna touch for years to come because although I have a lot of like really amazing thrifted pieces, vintage pieces, you know, sustainable pieces that I've invested in, whatever. There are like certain things that I'm like, damn, I'm like seeing things that I used to have. And I'm like, I wish I still had that. I wish I could wear it. I used to have this um, like Forever 21 shirt, which is so silly. It's like not even vintage. I mean, I guess now it technically would be, but it was this like off the shoulder gray Forever 21 shirt. It had a like a wolf howling at the moon on it. And then I think it had some like studs on the shoulder. And I swear to God, I wore that shirt for like 10 years, maybe even longer. And I think I only just parted ways with it probably a year ago. And now I'm like, <sighs> I wish I could still have that. I was really inspired. I watched a TikTok that was recommended to me by Arden Rose and she had gone through her mother-in-law's closet from like the early 2000s. And I was like, oh my God, that looks like so much of the stuff I used to wear. She was like, look at these boots. These boots are amazing. I'm like, I literally used to have a pair of boots like that up until a few years ago. Like I just need to hold on to stuff for longer. Anyway, this is like a long pointless rant, but you're also sitting on top of a pile of clothes in case you're wondering. <laughs> But yeah, I think I need to look into ways to sort of like figure out how to store my clothes or like archive some of my stuff. Obviously not in like the way that, you know, Kim Kardashian has saved every single pair of Yeezys that's ever been made for kids. Obviously not to that extent, just with my little, my little wardrobe that I have here. But yeah, I need to start freaking holding on to stuff. Oh my God, holy ADHD tangent. That was literally just because of this necklace, but it's just been something that's been on my mind. So if you've been thinking about it too, you should do it. Hold onto your stuff. I don't know, maybe all of you are really good at that and you just like have these bins and you store your stuff away until, I don't know, 10 years and then you go through it again, but I really need to do that. So anyway, okay. I am just procrastinating at this point. I don't feel any kind of sickness anymore. It's just that my throat's really dry. So I'm gonna drink a bunch of water, talk a lot because that is what I do in main channel videos and then we'll catch up in a bit. literally right outside the window. I'm gonna have a fucking menti bee. <laughs> oh, go ahead, start again. Perfect, lovely. It is many hours later, although it doesn't seem like it because I'm in the same room, but um, we have since like made dinner. 
I have so much shit to put away after I'm done filming, like it's actually embarrassing. But I managed to film two main channel videos and my Instagram reel today, so that's good. They have been doing some construction this week. I think I mentioned it on my Instagram stories. And it has been so maddening. Obviously it's nobody's fault, but there's just like, every time they back up, it's like and it's like right outside my door. They've been jackhammering, like anyways, we got through it. It's all good. I do need to put this stuff away, but am I going to right now? No, I'm not. Drew's putting away our dinner that actually has been sitting out for like an hour. But that's okay, it'll be fine. We're gonna have some leftovies tomorrow. We both have been talking about what we wanna do for dessert because we're kind of out of stuff. And we have seen this amazing girl on TikTok who makes these like delicious dessert creations. And she made like an ice cream sandwich out of donuts and drew wants one so bad so I'm i like, completely <laughs> forgot about it this is not my fault i did i mention you it? came out and you're like i wish we had stuff to make the the donut ice cream sandwiches and then you were just like we're going we to get sprinkles. so sprinkles. that's where we're going to get sprinkles so I'm I'm wearing like boxers, but I truly don't care. Like I'm literally gonna wear my slippers to the grocery store. Whatever, life is short. This feels like high school vibes. Like you'd be sitting around and be like, let's go get stuff to make blah, blah, blah. And then you just like go to the store in your pajamas. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm wearing my thrifted Cornell sweatshirt that I thrifted when I was in Tokyo. And one of the first times I wore it, I threw it on to take Layla outside. Like right when we had gone back, we'd been back like a couple days. And I literally stepped out outside with Layla and I was like waiting for her to do her business and this guy walks by and he goes what's your affiliation with Cornell and I literally go oh I got this at a thrift store for like $25 <laughs> and he was like oh cuz um, my son went there and I can tell I can guarantee you his tuition his undergraduate tuition was much more than $25 and I was like cool <laughs> it's just so weird Drew said I should have been like, I, I am, I am Cornell. <laughs> Ever heard of it? All right, let's do the damn thing. Let's, we're going on a mission and you're coming with us. How's your tat healing? Good. It's little, looking pretty little, good. It's still a little flaky. That's all right. Good. All right, what let's do it. Yes. Get in here. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm having an IBS flare up at the moment. Drew knows, obviously. She almost pooped on the couch. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get this donut. <laughs> you were saying like I got a lot of people. Oh, you had to go diarrhea, and you're just still sitting on the couch, and I was just like, wait till the Oh, and for everyone who's like, why do you always drive? Why doesn't Drew drive? Number one, he does all the time. You just don't see it. Number two, we park tandem and I go more places during the week, like when I go thrifting or wherever. So I park usually behind him, but sometimes we switch. And also, I just am a dominant bitch. I just like, <laughs> I like being in control. There's also a very, uh, but passenger, what, front seat passenger driver, driver. Passenger driver, yeah. What is that term? bad like I'm a front seat driver for sure and like sometimes I'm in my passenger princess era and then sometimes Drew's in his passenger princess era but I do love being There's a passenger. There's a spoiler paper careful. Oh thank you. All right let's get these donuts. Oops. Ah! All right first on the list is donuts. We don't think they have any like bakery Donuts, so we might just have to go for like the Entenmann's because the TikTok that we saw she had chocolate donuts uh, No, it's not looking good. All there is is bagels Pastries Drew just hit me in the butt with that freaking bag when he walked by he was trying to be discreet But I called him out oh My god, that's so many Do they have a small pack? Okay Then we need ice cream we need a pint of vanilla ice cream or whatever kind you want to get. And then we need sprinkles. <laughs> Why is it so fun to say it like Anything that? Else over here? Oh yeah, lots of things. Oh, we should have looked. Yeah, probably. Baking stuff. Like a one? Yeah, that's good. Good sprinkles. 
you want stars? Mm, no. I just like regular. You want more? No. <laughs> no, we need ice cream. Do you want just like vanilla? That's what I don't know. Or do you want like cookies and cream? Would you want chocolate? Chocolate ice cream? No. That would be good. Boom. It's not like pepper. No, <laughs> I don't think so. How you doing? Good. Got the goods. We're ready. It's a donut party. I'm embarrassing my boyfriend. We gotta go. He goes. He doesn't really get embarrassed by me anymore. That was a joke. I'm down too long. Yeah. We met at this for the first time I embarrassed him was like 2009. So he's had a long time to get used to it. To the kitchen. I also just realized that um, I haven't left my house in 10 days. Like You've it's literally been, been 10 sick. days. Yeah, I mean, I did the full like I think they tell you to quarantine for like a week now with COVID or something. I don't remember, but I've had a negative test for like a couple days now. Um, but yeah, that was, I just realized <laughs> as we were like pulling out of our house, I was like, this is the first time I've left the house in like 10 days. It feels kind of nice. All right. Why not? Nice. We're home. All right. So the way that we've seen it, and again, another vlog with something we saw on TikTok, whatever we, this is just, it's influential. Okay. You just see stuff and you're like, oh, yeah, I want to try that. I want to do that. I would like that. to put that in my mouth. So you're going to need your donuts your ice cream, oh. and your sprinkles, which apparently Drew told me in the car that British people call it thousands. Hundreds and thousands. Hundreds and thousands. How did I not know that? I feel like I know like most of the lingo. I did not know that. I think that's a really cute name for it, although it is like a longer name. Hundreds and thousands. When I lived in Maine, they called them jimmies, like chocolate jimmies, rainbow jimmies. Let me know where you're from and what you call. Sprinkles. They're kind of thin. Yeah, they are kind of thin. That's okay. We could just do two. I'm gonna do one, but you are more than welcome to do two. So here's the situation. You take your chalky donut, or whatever kind of donut you want, you cut it in half. Oh, this is risky. Okay, there we go. We got it. Cut your donut in half, and then you take your pint and you just cut it right on the pint. So many people probably know this, but I was like, what? Okay. It's like the perfect size too. Hell yeah, sister. Right on. Look at that. I don't think this is going to be enough. Oh yeah, this is like, we'll just eat that. Let's try that again. Like this thick? Um, sure. Oh my god, this is genius! You take your perfectly cut ice cream, you pop it on your ice cream sandwich! Look at that! Look at that. If you think we're done there, think again, pal. Because then you put your donut back on the top. Oh god, this is gonna be so messy. Then you take your ice cream sandwich and you roll the side of it in sprinkles! How? Perfect is this. Come on, that looks really good. Okay, you do it now. You need more. You need more hundreds and thousands. No, I have hundreds, I need thousands. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Look how cute. All right, let's try it. Come we're, down here. We're getting our hundreds and thousands everywhere. Yeah, we are. Okay. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. It's messy. It's pretty good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's wow. so sweet. Very sweet. It's kind of like ice cream cake. Mm -hmm. It's not blowing my mind. I'm gonna give it Maybe like a seven. I was gonna say like a 7.8 out of 10. Maybe it's the donuts that aren't that good. Probably. With some tweaking though, I think it could be amazing. Let me know if you've tried it or if you have any tips. But I mean, I'm definitely gonna eat it. Just in case you needed a dose of real life, this is what our sink currently looks like. I will say it very rarely gets to this point, but this is like our entire dinner dish setup plus breakfast and lunch. These are clean. These are clean. So let's get this freaking place picked up.
Yes, that's what I like to see. The kitchen is sparkling, sink is empty, all the clean dishes are put away, all the dirty dishes are in the sink. Yes, absolutely yes. I was, I was sitting here with my phone in my lap watching little Instagram stories and suddenly he said, no, you're not anymore. Mm -hmm. He's been very cuddly lately, which is very sweet. Am I, am I done? He says your phone time is over. Are you gonna lay down or just stand on all my organs? This is the rest of our evening. This is what, um, what we're doing. Drew's playing some video game. I'm sitting here with Moo and we will likely, it's still light outside. You can see it in that little sliver in the blinds, but the freaking sun sometimes like goes on the TV. Anyway, I think Moo is just gonna sit here on my lap the rest of the evening. He's purring very loud, so that's good. Are you happy or are you mad? I can't tell. He's happy mad. Yeah, that's pretty much Moo in a nutshell. Always happy and always mad. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this vlog. I don't even really know what it was, but hopefully you enjoyed it. That's every vlog, honestly. I don't know until I look at the footage. I'm like, oh, forgot I did that. The next vlog should be a little more entertaining, a little more fun, a little more interesting, because it'll be the weekend. I love a weekend vlog, and we can finally like go out and about and do stuff. Which I feel like it's been two weeks since we've really gotten back into our routine, because my mom was here two weeks ago, and then I had COVID, so. Anyways, thanks for being here, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Say okay, bye. Bye. Oh, I know. Bye. He said, get out of my face. Bye.